What is the external anatomy of a dogfish shark? Okay, we're going to start with its fins, and we're going to start with the top side of the shark, which is known as the dorsal side. The first large fin on the shark is known as the first dorsal fin. The second one is simply known as the second dorsal fin. Moving to the tail end of the shark, this is known as the posterior end. This fin is called the caudal fin. Okay. Moving to the belly side of the shark, this is known as the ventral side. The pectoral fin would line up with your human arms and your pectoral muscles across your chest. The pelvic fin is the second fin on the ventral side. This would line up with your pelvic bones on your hip. And the third fin is known as the anal fin. The eye is the organ of sight on a dogfish shark. The mouth is the opening to the digestive system. The lateral line is a row of sensory cells that detect movement in the water. The ampullae of Lorenzini are tiny pores on the snout that detect electrical impulses in the water. And the gill slits allow water to pass over the gills. Okay, in the next diagram we're going to get a little more detailed. And this one um, will be more like the one that you'll be responsible for knowing for your external anatomy test. So with the review, starting with the dorsal side of the fish, we have the first dorsal fin. This is the second dorsal fin. The caudal fin on the posterior end of the shark. This little indentation is known as a caudal tail notch. A notch is an indentation. Okay, moving to the ventral side of the shark, that's the belly side. The first fin would be known as the pectoral fin. The second one would be known as the pelvic fin. And this third one is known as the anal fin. Okay, looking at the shark, the shark has denticles, which are sharp scales in their skin. Their skin is known as chagrin, and that would be like they're in all of their skin. Again, the lateral line detects the uh, movement in the water. The ampullae of Lorenzini detects um, the electrical impulses in the water. And they're named after Lorenzini, who discovered what these tiny pores um, did on the shark. Nair is um, another word for, oops, sorry, I grabbed the mouth. The mouth is the opening to the digestive system. The shark has an eye. I'm going to move the eye right here. And the eye has a special membrane called the nictitating membrane. This membrane protects the eye during a feeding frenzy. The rostrum is another name for the snout of a shark. And this is on the anterior end, or the head end of the shark. This little hole is known as the nair, or nostril. Remember the gill slits allow water to pass over to the gills. And the spiracle is a hole on the shark that allows um, water to go directly to the gills.